Y'all think this video is about this alligator or these six drunk chickens? You're wrong. Come over here. You think it's about this sign? You think it's about this Bronco? No. It's about the launch of the Cajun two-step. Let's get it, dude. I like to start with like a hot mustard. We got a little cayenne pepper puree and some regular mustard. Mix that around real good. And we just rub this in there like a binder. All right, we got everything rubbed down very nice. Now it's time to hit it with that two-step. You can find this in the link tree, dude. And we're going to use a lot of it. It's going to be money, dude. Do that and all the chicken. And I'm going to show y'all a little secret about these drunken chickens. I put on my meat Ferris wheel. You need to check this thing out. All homemade. All right, before I load this meat Ferris wheel with all of this, I'm going to show you a little secret to my drunk chickens. I stick just a little bitty pinhole in there. And then I'm going to stick it right up in there. And what happens as it rotisses around and around, just a little bit will come out at a time and keep it moist for the whole cooking experience. It's only 105 degrees. We got this alligator going. While we wait, you know what we're going to do. We better hydrate. I finally got me one of them fancy dancy pellet grills. The only thing bad is you got to make your pellets yourself. Come on. We're one hour in on this beautiful Louisiana alligator. Check that out. Now that's money, dude. Look at that. That's beautiful. And they got them drunken chickens too. Don't forget about that. There's one thing about doing this open air pit like this. A, you don't use pellets. But B, you got to use something to keep it hydrated and motivated. Use only to skeet your meat right here. Straight pineapple juice. Look, it's going to make it so moist and juice. Look at that. You got the drunken chickens. You got the alligator going. I don't know if it does anything, but it's pretty cool, don't you think? Everybody wants to know, what you doing? I'm just skeeting my meat. High five. So one thing I like about the meat Ferris wheel, you can cut it and you can come over here and get your little slice. And as it cooks, you can slice and you can eat and put that on a cracker, dude. Then you can re-season as it goes. Every piece has seasoning on it. Mm, that's good, dude. Oh, Lord.